Handballstage. My fiance thinks I'm cheating on him with his brother Santos. What's up, man? I snuck up on her, man. Her and Monster sit in the couch together. You're the one that brought him over. Well, I'll help her out. Take the garbage, because Fat Boy won't take the garbage over there. Fat Boy over there looking like a blueberry. Hell <laughs> Did you sleep with Lorraine? No, I you didn't. didn't. You had your shirt off. She no, was all you. sweaty. We ain't got no treadmill, you know. <laughs> bike Thank you, Snooky, for being on. Oh, we're, we're looking like a oompa loompa leprechaun yeah, in the hood. So they both took lie detector tests. Yeah. This is the million dollar question. I'm basically here with my boyfriend, John. I have some issues with other females. So, have you been faithful to Michelle? Yes. It's just the lying about the females. Well, you guys broke up? For, for about a month. Why? Because she caught me lying. You look like this Mike the Situation character guy. Snooky and Mike the Situation. Oh, yeah. Let's see what John's situation looks like. Oh, God. <laughs> I believe my boyfriend's been cheating on me and he's been accusing me of it. I've never cheated on you, ever. So I think she slept with one of some of my friends. All these girls are telling me they spent the night with you. I don't know the results, let's find out, but I don't think they're as clear cut as everybody would think that they are. In this next story, a family is being torn apart by allegations of cheating. Nate believes that his two brothers are having sex with the same woman. Take a look. I'm here because Jared thinks I'm cheating on him with his brother Santos. I'm here because I know that my brother's fiance is cheating on him with my older brother. Jared's at work and Santos is always over at Lorraine's house. And like one time I, I stopped and I went and knocked on the door and she answered the door and she was all sweaty. Santos came out the bathroom with no shirt. Why would he have no shirt on with Lorraine by herself in the apartment? So I think they were doing something sexual, you know? Nate's only saying this because he don't want me with his brother. I'm not gonna lose my best friend, but I, I'm not gonna lose his brother either because regardless, they're gonna stick with me with, through anything. When Lorraine and Santos are together, they're always playing around like a little couple. There's nothing going on between us. We, we laugh, we kick it, we play around, we wrestle. Because nobody jumps on somebody's lap and plays around like that. We've been friends for years. I think Lorraine's a little whore because she's running around. And it's not really happening. I think Santos should be uh, ashamed of himself because it's his own family and uh, he's hurting JR because JR really likes this girl and they're about to get married. I love JR. I mean, he's my heart, you know, he's been my heart for six years and I really want him to know that I really do love him and I really want things to work. And if they don't work, I want to leave. This whole thing makes me angry because JR's like my favorite brother, you know. We look after one another and uh, sometimes I want to hit Santos because it's wrong what he's doing. I feel helpless. It's sad. It's really sad. And I feel like it's my fault, you know, and I shouldn't have to feel like this because I'm not doing nothing. I'm innocent. My guess is JR. JR, tell me what happened. Well, you know, Steve, uh, it's been six years I've been with Lorraine. But then uh, just last year, it's been a year since I asked her to marry me, you know. So she's my fiance, and that's my little brother, Nate. And uh, it's been four months now. I started talking to Monster and Lorraine, and just tell me the truth, something going on with y'all, you know, just tell me. She denies it. She denies, he denies it. Denies it. it. And then but somewhere Nate, in the back of your mind, you must be like, yeah, what's really going on? Nate told me she came out sweating. I told Nate, man, we ain't got no treadmill, you know, bicycle, bike, bike. <laughs> Why she all sweaty like that? <laughs> Talking about monster come out with a, or it's this, have to come out with a, you know, his shirt off. No. It's like, man. Did she explain why she was all hot and sweaty and he had his shirt off? Yeah, I talked to her. She said she was cooking, but I didn't find no dinner <laughs> that day, you know? <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. That's why I tell you. You know, because the first thing what I do is when I go over to somebody's house to eat, I take my shirt off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't um, know. How, how are things between you and Lorraine now? Is she still loving and No, sexual? she changed. Like, her old attitude changed. Like, you know, like, now she's rushing me to work. I was like, damn. You know, she's like, <laughs> she's like put on your shoes, Herb. You're going to be late for work. I was like, damn. She's rushing you out yeah. the door. Me out the door. I was like, what you trying to do? Oh, I just don't want you to be late. I was like, damn, <laughs> put you over there trying not to be late. So I went around the block and I, <laughs> I parked my car, so I was hiding, you know. And, but I didn't see nothing that day, so I was like, you know, Monster must be busy. Santos, so. the yeah, Are Santos you, you're might be. Calling him what, Monster? Oh yeah, yeah. That that was his nickname. But oh, anyway, did, Santos. Wait, wait, hold on. Did Lorraine give him that nickname? No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so you, you, that's a name that you've called them a long time. Well, that's what they used to call them in jail. So <laughs> I, don't know. I snuck up on her, man. Her and Monster sit in the couch together. You're the one that brought him over. Thank you, Snooky, for being on. <laughs> over there, looking like a oompa loompa yeah, leprechaun in the hood. Right. You look like this Mike the Situation character guy. Snooky and Mike the Situation. Oh, yeah. Let's see what John's situation looks like. Oh, God. <laughs>What if Santos is sleeping with Lorraine? I told him, you know... Because uh, they both took lie detector tests. Yeah. Because, you know, when he first got out, you know, I helped him out, bought him clothes. You know, I gave him a car to drive, you know, and all that. You know what brother's supposed to do? I let him in, stay with me, like, two months ago. And then, ever since then, they've been like, like I was telling you, buddy, buddy, and her, even her girlfriend's like, yeah, yeah. You I'm let him move in with you? No, I let him stay because it was cold outside. As a nice brother would. Yeah, as a nice brother. And you, know. you and Santos, guys tight? We used to be until this, you whole, know, this thing. whole thing came out. All right. So who am I bringing out? Santos, a.k.a. the monster. <laughs> Let's bring him out. A big one. Stop. 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 Let's keep talking. Stop. Let's keep talking. All right, first of all, what's up, Steve Wilco? Yeah. I locked up. I seen you every day. Second of all, come here, come here, come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Let's keep doing this. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Santos. No, I cool. Your brother, okay? Yeah. Come on. He said, you know, you got a little bit of trouble. You come out of jail. Uh, it was cold outside. He takes you in. He lets you stay in his place. You know, right? Am he I getting anything wrong? Here? Heated blanket. A heated blanket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right on. Right, right on. So this guy gave you that wonderful present. Right. And you would dare ever raise your hand at that man? Man, it's not even that. Steve Wilco, look, run his mouth. I thought I'd put him. My Remember, bad, my came, language. Yeah. Okay, I, I'll come out. Your he helps me out when I get out of jail. Which is great. I respect that, man. Nate was on the tape, and he's, he's telling uh, JR that, you know, he came over. Uh, Lorraine answered the door. She was all flustered. <laughs> yeah. You had Why your, come out the bathroom? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm a man. You had your shirt off. She Tom was, all, she was yeah. all sweaty. I don't know where he said I got my shirt off. I had a white beater on. <laughs> I'm sitting down, I'll come out the bathroom. I let the wife be here with we Brown. Are, we always playing. I'm going to go over there and play PS3 with my little he's homegirl. Hating, I'll go over there he's with he's my homeboy. Come on, let him First talk, of all, Steve talk. Wilco, he told me not to go to his, his house no more, right? Okay, I did it. But he calls me from work. Hey, uh, Monster, you do me a favor? Can you get my mail from his own ap old apartment? And I'll take it to him. If she's there, she'll open the door and give me some coffee. Yeah. We kick it and everything, yeah, go you know what I'm saying? For coffee and or I'll help her out, take the garbage, because Fat Boy won't take the garbage over there. <laughs> all the way down the alley, you know what I'm saying? Fat Boy over there looking like a bluebird. Help her fix the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oompa loompa, look at that. <laughs> That's all right. And I got to come out and straight out ask you, did you sleep with Lorraine? No. You I didn't. didn't. That's my little homegirl. She grew up since we were young. You oh, know. you've known her for a long time. Yeah, man. Me and, and you introduced her to my brother. To your brother. Because Fat Boy don't have a girl. So I brought him a girl. <laughs> Fat Boy had more girls look, than you. Steve Wilco, so, I had to throw game at my homegirl to go out with this. Okay, food. so you have never slept with her? No. Um, let's bring out the woman in question, Lorraine. I'm sick and tired of you telling everybody I'm Nate seen you at the house. Throw a shoe at that. You're lying. 
Man, see me, I caught you too. What the hell was he doing over at the house when I snuck up on you? At least I ain't got a female throwing shoes at me. No, all you gotta do is You gotta have a man throwing the shoes at me. I met you through him. That's my best friend. Your and best you friend, yeah. Everybody. You're ruining best your friends. You're always sticking up for your brother. All do the your time. blood. Um, Nate was on the tape and he was telling stories. Uh, Badass cheeseburger. Okay. You looking. <laughs> okay, remember. <laughs> Hold on. She won't say it. Nah, said cheeseburger with legs. Yeah. Oh, we're looking like a oompa loompa yeah, leprechaun in the hood. Yeah. 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 Uncle Fester yeah. ain't Stop. 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 Yeah. Stop. This is the woman that you love. Yeah. That you want to marry. Steve, I caught, I, I snuck up on her, man. <laughs> I got home early, I called her up. Hey, who's at the house? Oh, I'm by myself. Then I, I drove up early, man. I drove up early, I snuck in. Her and Monster sit in the couch together. Yeah, we're sitting on the couch Then I confronted together. Monster, you're I was like, hey, man, I told you not to be coming in my you house no more. You never doing nothing. I'll go to the room, you're like, what is Santos doing here? You're the one that brought him over. If you don't want him there, you should tell him, don't come over. At any time did you sleep with the Monster? No, I haven't. Okay. That's my best friend. Okay. Now, um, you know, his brother came on. He was saying on the tape that uh, his shirt was off and you were all sweaty and you answered the door and you were all frantic. Was there anything going on then? No. And then him and Nate always roll together. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him. Yeah, because he's, he's yeah. the one tell telling him, me tell the truth. Yeah, over telling there. you lies. Who are? Uh, That's why I changed who, with her. Who called I the think shoulder? they're gay. He was over there with four guys in the van listening to the Eagles. <laughs> 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 Damn, look like a little chihuahua Wait, with Taco yeah. Bell shirt. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Now, it's not very often that we have celebrities on the show, and thank you, Snooky, for being on. <laughs> have you ever had sexual intercourse with Santos? AKA the monster. <laughs> I believe my boyfriend's been cheating on me. I've never cheated on you ever. So I think she slept with one of some of my friends. I don't know the results, let's find out, but I don't think there's clear cut as everybody would think that they are. Am I supposed to be saving a relationship here or what am I doing? So make she, it simple. What do you want? I want to work it out with you want to work it out? Yeah. And you want to hope that she passed her lie detector yeah, test and she, she passed, I told her if she passed and she didn't sleep with okay. You know, and what do you want? Well, I want him to change. And he listens to his brother all the time. So even if even if he passes the lie detector test, you want him to change? Yeah. Okay. Can you give her that? Yeah. I told her already if she passes the test, you know, I'll change for her, you know. Okay. I'll Let's go back find out. Uh <laughs> finish. And what do you want, Monster? What I want, I want that to work out, man. Be cool with each other. I want him to be my little brother like he used to be. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want. <laughs> all right, uh, JR, you took a light detector test before the show? Yeah. You were asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman while in a relationship with Lorraine? He answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is he told the truth. <laughs> Lorraine, you were asked. I forgot you were on the show. OK. <laughs> Do you have any romantic feelings towards Santos? No. No. And uh, you answered no on the lie detector test. And the results for your lie detector test is you didn't tell the truth. <laughs> but this, you know, feeling schmealings, you know what I mean? Do a thing. This is the million dollar question. <laughs> I want to be a millionaire. <laughs> million bucks. Yeah, yeah. What's my name? Monster. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Santos, aka 
the monster. <laughs> <laughs> she answered no. And the results for her lie detector test is she did not tell the truth. <laughs> Don't yeah. talk to that fool no more. Yeah. Listen. This just no, you come here, you take over the show, you tell the audience the truth right now. Hey. I did it, I did something with her. I ain't gonna lie. I lied on the night to take this before he opened it. But you know why? Just to teach him a listen, man. What, man? Step up your fool. Come here, step up your game. Shh. What you need to do? You were a bad girl. <laughs> you say, forgot she's my homegirl. Shh, shh. Say, anyway. say, Steve, I was a bad girl. Steve, I was a bad girl. Okay. And I lied on the lie detector test. And I lied on the lie detector test. Okay. Now that you said all that, you're very honest, and I, I appreciate that. Shows that the lie detector test does, you know, notate when somebody's lying. So what I want to know from here is, We'll start with uh, the monster. Monster, what are you going to do now? No, I, I still got his back regardless. That ain't going to change because he's my brother. Well, wouldn't you want to say, hey, JR, I'm sorry? No, no, I, don't, I ain't going to apologize. Number one, because he's my little brother. That's why he ain't got no support from me no more. And that's, okay. I don't okay. need okay. your support. Okay. Jerry, okay. At the Sun Gate okay. Apartments. All yeah. I want to say is thank you so much you for being on the You live in the van down um, by the river. Yeah. You ain't on the let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see that. It's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. Who wants to party with Snooki yes. tonight? Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Now, um. I'm your brother. You had sex with the monster last night? You did. Wow. Okay. Lorraine. <laughs> Anything that you would like to say to JR? You kept accusing me and kept accusing me when I wasn't doing nothing. And then finally to teach you a lesson, I did do it because you know what? That's all you did was accuse us. Are you broken up with uh, JR yeah. now? You're broken yeah, up. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, it's over. And uh, maybe, it's I'll see you at, maybe I'll see you at one of Monster's parties. Already. <laughs> Bye, Snookums. <laughs> You know, this things, things didn't work out the way you wanted. I'm glad she's gone. Right. I've been trying to get rid of her since who? Right. Maybe you'll have a woman that's not yeah. forcing you to work yeah. earlier, you yeah. know. No, that just really right. opened my eyes, you know, if brothers could, Ex exactly. you don't trust your brothers. And either. you know, when you find another nice girl and things are going good, give us a call. We'll update your All story. right, yeah, no All problem. Right. It's just the lying about the females. Well, you guys broke up? For, for about a month. Why? Because she caught me lying. You look like this Mike the Situation character guy. Let's see what John's situation looks like. Oh, God. <laughs> there's time. I think she slept with one of some of my friends. I don't know the results. Let's find out. But I don't think there's clear cut as everybody would think that they are. Michelle's my guest. Michelle, why are you here today? Um, I'm basically here with my boyfriend, John. Uh, we've been together for about a year. And uh, things have been going well, except for the past couple months. So what do you think's going on? Um, I have some issues with other females that... You think that he might be seeing other females? I don't, I don't really think... It's just the lying about the females. The if there's nothing going females. on, then do don't lie, lie about it. Right. That's how I feel. So what does he lie about? Minor instances about instead of saying he's going home, going to sleep, he's hanging out with girls and partying at a house. And that's not a minor lie. To, to me, to me, that bothers me because I'm not even around and I don't even know about it. Um, so, but John's a good guy, basically, to you. He's the love of my life. The love of your life. I would do anything. And how for long him. you been dating again? About a year. About a year. It's a long time. Just about a year. And uh, and this is like somebody you could see like maybe marrying someday. Oh, he's, he's amazing. He's like, amazing. He's amazing. I love him. So, like, when he comes out of here, I'm going to be like, wow, this guy's really good looking. <laughs> I'm going to be like, man, I'm, yes, I'm he caught is. in. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's that good looking. Yes, he is. He's beautiful. Does John ever question whether you're being faithful to him? He jokes around about it, but I think deep down inside he always questions it. 
wondering. Wondering? I, I bar 10 at a bar, so, oh, so, so it's only... Yeah, so, and so part of your job is being flirtatious yes, for tips, right? but that's how I met him. Right. So it's kind oh, of... Oh, you met him, he came in, yes. and he wanted a drink? Yes. You were flirting with him? Yes. And he actually is the guy that got your number? Yes. Oh, there you go. And All it's right. been like that ever since. It's so. been that way ever since. All right, let's bring out John. How you doing? How you doing, Steve? Well, you are a good looking guy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you're, you are one of the few guys that are living the dream. You went to a bar and you actually got the hot bartender's phone number. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's what happened. Not too many guys can say that, you know? So you're a wonderful guy. She says, wonderful guy. But that she catches you in lies like, oh, you say you're going to go home and go to bed, but then you go to some house with girls and you're yeah. part well, So why do you do that? Uh, you know what? Because I, I feel that she's going to get mad. So, you know, I, I lie before I even ask her. Because, yeah, you know what? My last, my last ex-girlfriend, she would get, you know, very jealous about anything so i just try to keep it to you know what i mean but would you get mad if he no. went and said if he told you he was up what? front hey i'm going over there no. i'm gonna have some beers but there's gonna be some girls there no because where you it's work it's not my character i work at a bar you so work at I a bar where there's guys all I the time i deal with right? men all exactly. night so right so so you got to deal with that all all night too so who knows uh, so you know? have you been faithful to uh michelle yes never yes. cheated never not a kiss no do you ever wonder about her? Because, you know, oh, she's, she's in that a, she's environment. She's a bartender, yeah. I mean, Could be we, drinking. Exactly. I mean, we weren't together for like but a month. But in your gut, what does it tell you? I mean, she, I think she's, she's pretty faithful. You think she's, she's pretty, pretty faithful? faithful. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I don't know what went on the last month that we weren't together. Well, you guys broke up? For, for about a month. Why? Because she caught me lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. No, but if you're broken up, she could sleep with the Southern Fleet. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but if I was to do that and she found out, she would flip out. It's would not, you? it's not. Vice versa, it would happen yeah. both ways. Okay. It would happen but both. both, during even that time you were down from each other, no, no sleeping with anybody. No, not at Neither all. Neither one of you. No. no. You look like the guy, like, don't, I, I don't watch the show. Don't tell me. I don't, don't say No, it. listen, Steve. I don't watch the show, Steve. but I know this Mike Here the Situation got. character guy. I know, I grew up with him. <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, I'm thinking, am I being set up like, a, am I doing a spoof <laughs> show or something, you know? Snooky and Mike the Situation. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Well, we're having a little fun, and, uh, you know, this is, this is a good time. But in all seriousness, you both took lie to tuck the test before the show. What if John fails? I can't answer that right now. Because you might stay with him. My, my main thing is don't lie, don't cheat, and don't steal from me, and we're okay. But yeah. if, he, if he fails his lie, so if to test. one of those happens, then the trust factor is kind of out the window yeah, at that point. But would you break up with him? To be uh, honest, I, I, I don't know right now. Okay. I, I love him too much to just walk away from okay. him, so and, I don't and know. And John, if Michelle fails his lie detector test, I don't know about that. You guys do love each other, right? Yeah. You love each other. Yeah, we do. Now, you took lie detector tests, but we could say, hey, we had a nice laugh. Thanks for being on the show. Rip these up and go on your merry way. And then the ride home <laughs> is a different story. <laughs> it's up to you. Oh, no. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How about you? Go ahead. That's why we're here, right? Okay, yeah, that's let's we're find here. out. We're going to read Michelle's first. <laughs> okay. Since dating John Michelle, you were asked, have you had sexual, physical contact whatsoever with any other man besides John? She said, yes. I mean, um, no, she said, she said no. I was going to say, no, I she didn't. No. Oh, my no. God. <laughs> I was about to fall off the chair. She's... She said no. Uh huh. I have, I have a problem with reading sometimes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and the results for her lie detector test is that she 
I've never cheated on you ever. So I think she slept with one of some of my friends. All these girls are telling me they spent the night with you. I don't know the results. Let's find out. But I don't think they're as clear cut as everybody would think that they are. And the results for her lie detector test is that she told the truth. <laughs> Let's see what John's situation looks like. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. Because you're from Jersey, too, right? Yeah. Shore. You're from Jersey Shore? Oh. That's true. Yeah, that's where yeah, I live. You're from Jersey Shore. Exit, that, exit I, 91, I baby. Can say that, right? Yeah, you can say that. So, would I be fair in the saying, you know, girls come on to you, right? Yeah. So, how do you say no? It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. But, you know, she, uh, not many girls do what she does. Yeah. <laughs> John! No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, no. Just, just whisper in my ear. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I, I don't... Oh, my I, God, you're filthy! <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Feel my hand. You're shaking. I'm and shaking. just so we're perfectly clear, because some people can't take a joke, he didn't tell me anything about you. you know. No, I didn't think no, he did no. anyway. He, was, he, he was wasn't even talking about it. I take care exactly. of him very well. He was well. telling me, you no, know. She does. No. You see? You see? <laughs> she takes care of me very well. I guess great minds think alike. I don't know. There you go. Oh, man. OK. Um, John, you were asked in the past year since dating Michelle, mm -hmm. have you had any sexual physical contact with any other female besides Michelle? Yes. You answer no. Yes. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. What? <laughs> what? Wait, Michelle, 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 come back. Hold. You sit right there. All right. Okay. Okay. Hold on one second, though. In all fairness, now see when we say sexual physical contact. It was a kiss. It was a There's kiss. There's your chance. It was a kiss when we were broken up. And you couldn't tell me that for no. three weeks. Well, that's it was. With who? A kiss. Who? It was a kiss. I'm serious. The, the girl. Now I'm definitely off the stage. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really help you all that much. Yeah. Um, do you want me to go talk to her? Uh, hey, if you want to go talk I'll, to her, I'm, I'm going to talk. talk. You to sit her. tight for a second. All right. <laughs> okay. I can't. But, but no, listen, 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 listen. The truth of it is, you know, you got a good I guy. I asked him. I, know. I asked him, and he hides me three Times. Okay. You tell me the truth, and now it's over. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Just one second. Let let her take care of him now. Well, listen. Now she can. Okay. Now Understood. now she can take care. Thank you. <laughs> now she can take care of you. That's why I don't talk to her anymore. I don't care. When I, just, okay. when I started talking to you again, I stopped talking to her. And okay. you lied to me three times and said nothing ever happened. Nothing ever sexually happened. You kissed her. That's sexual. Well, well okay. Whatever. So you cheated on me. I, I don't consider that cheating because okay. I wasn't with you. Okay. All right, okay. that's all I needed. I wasn't with okay. you. That's all I needed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For Michelle, we're oh. going to do pick a door game. Here's what we're going to do. Thank you for being on the show. All right. I certainly appreciate it. All right. Um, do, I, do I go? Hold on, hold on. Um, if you've ever seen my show, we do this thing called Pick a Door. You could either look past this and say, you know what, I'm not going to let one kiss destroy this great relationship I had with John, which you yourself said it was great. And people learn from mistakes, and maybe John can learn from this and say, you know what, I love Michelle so much, I'm never going to make that mistake again, because that does happen with people. Or you could go out this door and, hold on, you could go out this door and you know what's out that door. There's a lot of guys that would love to be with a beautiful young woman, and 
I'll tell you what, you go out that door and you know, we'll just we'll throw in dinner for you, okay? But if you don't go out that door, you're taking it, you know, one kiss, you're gonna destroy a year. Everybody knows what door I'm going to. I don't know. No, you don't think? I don't know. All right. I'm hoping for the John That's door. That's where I'm going. All right. Hey, hey, give it. Michelle. Michelle. Thanks for so much. Good luck to you. I hope that works out for you too. I don't know the results. Let's find out. But I don't think they're as clear cut as everybody would think that they are. My guest is Cindy. Cindy, why are you here? I'm here because I believe my boyfriend's been cheating on me. So, and he's been accusing me of it because he has a really guilty conscience. He's accusing you of cheating. Yeah. So, you and your boyfriend um, are together for how long? For almost four years. It's a long-term relationship. Yeah. Why do you think he's cheating? Because I'm always catching him, like, texting girls or messaging him on Facebook, asking him. Facebook? Like, when are they going to hook up or telling them that they're so pretty and he accuses me nonstop. We broke up last year for like a month. We weren't really broke up because we were still talking and he thinks I had sex with like the world during that month. Did you have sex with the world? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> have sex Did with you have one. sex with one person? No. I've never cheated on him. Not even a kiss? No. Yeah. Well, when we broke up, I kissed someone and he says he just kissed this other girl. But she tells everybody that she was like staying with them, like living with them, and that they were and, like. And if you're up. staying with somebody, you're not just kissing them. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And if he did cheat, what's going to happen? I don't want to be with him. You don't want to be with no. him. Um, now I'm told that you dropped out of school to be with him. Well, I didn't drop. What school are we talking about? High school or college? Yeah, or? high school. You dropped out of high school. I had two more credits, and then I was going to graduate. And you didn't graduate? Well, I was started doing online so I could be with him all the time. And then I just quit doing it, so I... Okay, you have to go back and get your high school diploma for nobody else but for yourself. Because if you don't have that, the world and the odds of, of just having a tough life, man, they're just stacked against yeah. you. So go back to school and get that high school diploma. <laughs> All right, um, your boyfriend's here four years. Let's bring him out. Here's Brent. I've never cheated on you ever, ever. I've never cheated on you ever. Uh, all these girls are telling me they spent the night with you. You guys, you every, were living with the girl. Every time we were, you've ever caught me, we've never got to go past so that. You, just every like, time you've caught me talking to a girl, it's <laughs> never gone past that. She's caught me every time. Well, why do they all say it has? You done stuff too. One you, you thing. You said you kissed the guy. The guy wow, that you said you kissed it. said you tried sleeping with him. Okay, if I and tried, I would have. To. What would stop me from sleep? Is he gonna deny me? No. What guy's gonna he, deny? Exactly. It? That's what I'm saying. What guy's gonna deny you? You know you have. There's time. I think she slept with one, some of my friends. So I don't know. You know, I got. You mad. think that this woman slept with some of your friends? Why would she one do that? Because yeah. he slept with mine. No, I haven't. I haven't. But she took a lie detector test. She did, yeah. And if she fails? Well, I, I mean, I don't want to be with her, obviously. You don't want to be with her. And if he cheated, he's gone. I don't know the results, but let's find out. But I don't think they're as clear cut as everybody at home watching would think that they are. Mm -hmm. You're Cindy, right? Yes. Cindy took a lie detector test before the show. Cindy, um, in the last month, have you cheated on Brent? And you answered no. And the results are, you told the truth. Question number two. Have you had sexual intercourse with another man since you've been in a relationship with Brent? And you answered no. And the results are, Cindy told the truth. <laughs> Besides kissing that guy once, have you had any other sexual contact with another man since you've been in a relationship with Brett? You answered no, and the results are you told the truth. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with any of Brent's friends? You answered no, and the results for that question is 
Cindy told the truth. There's the other one. What one? I told you. Brent, you took a lie detector test before the show, and. Brent, you took a lie detector test before the show, and Brent refused to take a lie detector test. Oh. Okay, I will. He well, just I wanted will. to get his results so he could be happy and then just leave me no, hanging. No, why did I did you, all Why this. didn't you take the lie detector test? There were circumstances. I'm not saying yeah. that. I, you want me to tell you, really? I no, went I, in there to take it. They, I told her that I told him that I, I had something to tell her personally. Well, why don't you go ahead and tell her? No, I haven't never cheated. Never then cheated. Then take the test. But I did have, uh, I mean. You what? Just Let me ask it. you, if you weren't going to take the test... Whatever, I, I haven't okay, cheated. I don't you, care. I have nothing to prove listen, to none of you. I have Brent, nothing to prove Brent, to you. I'm just asking nope. No. Brent, you better get over here. You better get over here. Why didn't you take it? Why didn't you take it? I don't want to. I have nothing to prove to no one. Uh, but I have something to prove to you, but you can't prove nothing to me. I, I, show, I showed the world that I didn't cheat, so why couldn't you do you it? You want to hear it now? Because you're you? cheating. Yeah. No, I'm not cheating. Well, then what'd you do? Man, I, no, I hung out you... with a couple times. She kissed me. That's it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Okay. Listen, I We're just done. want to say this. Um, and, I, 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 and I try not to say this too often on my show. Um, but you're full of You know that. About what? About what? He had sex with her. No, I, I have I have okay, cheated on, on you one Hold on, hold on. That's cheating. Okay, hold on. Move on, up okay, Hold on, hold okay. on. Do you love her? Yeah, I love her a lot. Do you want to stay with her? I only want her. I don't want any You don't want anybody else. Would I you do would I, you do anything for this woman? Yeah, I, I quit talking. Will you take I, a lie detector test right now? Mmm. No. So you want to do anything? I don't for want. It. I'm not gonna take a lot of paper on to you. I don't want to. No. But I had to, and I'm the one that not, that's not doing anything. Okay, here's the deal. You got your answer. He did something he's not proud of. He cheated on you. He did something. You know what? If this is the guy, forget that whether he even cheated on you or not. Forget that. He let you go through it, and he didn't even give you the courtesy of saying, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I back I did out. It for her. He went. He played it reason. to the very end. So he got, like you said, he got his answer, but you don't get yours. You, I knew my answer. I don't answer. care what you do with I this girl when answer. you get home. I hope you don't get back together with him. But for now, sir, get off my stage. No reason for you to go back out there. I think this audience is all cheering for you. You're a young girl. you got your whole life ahead of you. And, and you know what the real issue of this story is? You going back to school and finishing your high school diploma. And when I went... <clears throat> and when I went off for you is whatever we can do to help you get back, get your GED, and, and at least make that first step. And that'll be something really positive about you coming here. We'll do everything we can to help you get that so you get that, you can move on. And find yourself a nice guy. There's a million guys like that, but there's also a million nice guys. Pick one of the nice guys, okay? Good luck to you. No, you got what you wanted. This is all you wanted. I knew you were going to do this. I told you I'd take a test for you. Why didn't you take it then? Because I'm not doing it on TV. Oh, but I did. So what does that matter? If I'm taking it here or there, what does it matter? Because it you're doesn't. guilty. That's they just want to show. That's all it is. I'm not going to play their game. They can have their show. I'm you not going to do it. You knew what we were coming here for. Okay, when we came here, I did what you wanted. I didn't have sex with no one. Yeah. I haven't had sex with no one, so yeah. I know that's If you kissed her, you had sex with I her. I didn't kiss her, and I didn't have sex with you no one. You just made that up. I haven't had sex with no one. You just one. made yeah, that I up. sure did. Made it up. I don't want anything to do with you. We just got a house together. I know. 
You couldn't admit it before all this? Tell me, there's nothing to admit. She said she doesn't right? want to talk to you anymore. You could sit here and grip all you want and try to plead there's and try to make her believe. Yeah. But fantasy land's take over, mister. She no. said, take Ike. Here's the final offer. You either get the hell out of here or you go take a lie detector test. I'm going to no, count you're... down to three. Go take a lie detector. Three. See, I'm not taking it. No, two. So one. Show's over. Goodbye. Stay